it is, um, this is Lulu, our Siberian Husky, who is, um, she turned 18 this spring. It is Tuesday, September 7th, 2021. Hi, Bobby. She's uh, blind and deaf, but she's still with us. Uh, I applied today to Guinness Book of World Records because my client, Humane Society Silicon Valley, said, wow, an 18-year-old Siberian Husky has got to be a record. So I looked and on the internet, and turns out, yeah, there's no record for how old a Siberian Husky can grow. So we applied, and it's going to take 12 weeks. Uh, there she is. Um, she's still in pretty good health. She has some skin stuff going on. You can see here, she's got a little bit of, hold on, Bubby. So we, I, I, I managed that with some coconut oil. Um, I, I coconut, I put, I put coconut on her and then bathe her. And that seems to work better than what the vets have recommended for it. But she's still pretty good. Her little uh, hallmark tail is no longer, hasn't been for a while. Um, but her, when she was younger, she had a big old fluffy tail. Hi, Boo! Hi, Stinky! So this is, when we first got her, we named her, this was uh, in the spring of 2004. She had been running feral. And we named her Millie Lulu. And through the years, it was short for Louisville. Uh, my other Siberian Husky, whom she loved so dearly, Lex, um, was short for Lexington, and she is short for Louisville, where I grew up. And this is her in and out all day. That's what we do is we just take her in and out of the house all day. You can see she's a little stiff, but she still eats well and does well. She knows her backyard. This is her backyard. We live in the Smoky Mountains in western North Carolina. You wanna go back in, Bubby? You wanna go back in? Come on. So she, I work at home, because uh, I'm an international publicist at home, and so I'm able to cater to her, please let me in, please let me out, mommy and daddy. There you go, she's walking up the steps. <laughs> A little stiff. And there she is, with my baby.